Hi, good morning and welcome back to my channel. This is Kintania and for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how my quarantine looks like here in Jakarta. I'm gonna show you also the rules and regulation here, the price and what you get. So if you're interested in that, just keep watching. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna show you how the view looks like from my bedroom. So this is how the view looks like today. It's amazing. So yeah, um, I want to show you guys first how the room looks like, so let's go on a tour. This is how the cupboard looks like. I don't really like the cupboard because it's so small, it only fits for my laundry. I literally have to put my leggings on the floor and then stick it there with my clothes, I put it inside of the luggage. So this is how the bathroom looks like, it has sink, very pretty mirror that has lights a one small shower which really fits for just one person which is me and then a toilet this is the how the bed looks like this is the queen size bedroom and then it has a lamp here and then two side tables which is small and then this is how the mini bar looks like. It has water boiler, two cups, and then coffee, tea, sugar. And then this is the safety box, the small safety box, and then a small fridge that is not working. Next, this is a small LED TV and the working desk. Usually, I use this for my makeup video and then i really like this one it's small but it fits all of my stuff perfectly this is a small couch but i rarely use it because i would rather to sit here than here all right so that was a little room tour i can give it to you so move on a topic today what i really like and what i do not like about this current hotel um so uh, let's talk about the downside first that i feel during during quarantine so first of all i really hate dark really hate dark i'm really afraid of darkness and then sometimes the electricity went down like seriously at midnight i was like i was awake during the time i always up during that time and i feel like so scared even if it was only for one minute but you know i was really like oh my god what's going on what's going on um second is the wi-fi is not really working properly sometimes so it's really slow super super slow so what i do is i use my own um internet for my phone to work uh, but it's fine my internet is yeah pretty fast faster than this wi-fi the other thing that i do not like about this hotel is the fridge is not breaking it's on but it's not giving it any cold so it's really it's very unfortunate oh and they only have one international port we um i really need that because i bought most of my electronics not in indonesia so it's really unfortunate that i cannot charge at the same time so yeah i think that's it about the downside i really don't like so much move to the part the exciting part it is the, the the one that i like so first of all i really like um, the stuff are really nice they help me a lot so any questions i ask they answer it right away i just need to send them whatsapp and they literally help me right away um other than that they always send me food on time literally on time and i was amazed because there's so many people staying in this hotel and then the hotel pretty much full for quarantine guests um so yeah i was really i'm so appreciated thank you so much i heard from so many people how they feel about quarantine at a hotel most like so many of them say that they have really unsatisfied feeling during the stay and i 
I just feel like it's it's really nice for me to be here. It's clean and the AC is working. Um, the bed is really comfortable. The pillows are really nice. If you want to know the list of hotel quarantine in Jakarta, you can check at quarantinehotelsjakarta.com. They will lead you directly to hotel website and email for availability. And by the way, I actually forgot to tell you about this paper. So before I checked in, they gave me this paper for me to read. This is about rules and regulation in the hotel. So every hotel pretty much has some regulation about the quarantine. And then for the price, I think it's really affordable. It cost me six hundred dollars for ten days, which is eight point three million uh, IDR. You got three meals a day, which is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, they will start giving you food at seven in the morning, which is too early. And by the way, you cannot, 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 cannot pick what you want to eat. They actually sent me the menu. But like when I asked them if I can have that, they said no, you cannot have that because it's chef selection. So like you have to eat what's what chef selected for you today. And I was like, then why you gave me the menu if I cannot pick what I want? You know what I mean? So like I literally just guessed what menu I have today. So this morning I have my rice noodle. It was delicious. It was nice. I liked it. And then I'm just gonna guess what I'm what I'm gonna have for lunch. And I'm just gonna guess what I'm gonna get for dinner. Um, and most of the menu are like um, Asian food, but couple couple of days they they give me Western food. But the thing about it though, um, the Asian food are kind of spicy, which I don't know if probably foreigner has the same menu or maybe they have different menu from me. So yeah, you have to make sure if the food is good for you if you can manage spicy then it's totally fine and then other thing than that is that uh, the laundry so uh, the hotel give me three five pieces of laundry every day and then they're gonna collect it every morning and then they give it back tomorrow afternoon which is not bad so yeah i think that's the video that i'm gonna give it to you today about the quarantine update and everything um i hope you like my vlog if you have any other questions about quarantine in indonesia you can let me know by writing the comments down here below or on my instagram um yeah see you guys um, in the next vlog bye